Ready. Help me! I can't do this. Ah! Sweetie, if you don't draw a line in the sand, this woman will make it her life's work to dismantle you piece by piece. This is war. No matter what she says or does, do not hang up this phone until you've told her, Mom, I love you, but this is my life. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to like it. But if you do not let me live it the way I choose, I will cut you off. Did you hear what I said? Ma, we gotta talk. <laughs> What's wrong, Mama? I just got the results back from a medical test. Is it cancer? Worse! I got brain bubbles! You got what? Brain bubbles! It's a pinkish froth that fills all the cracks between the brain meat, and when there's no more room, the pressure builds and... I can hear it when I'm lying in bed at night, sizzling beneath my skull like a pan of bacon. I never heard of brain bubbles. They've only just discovered it! I'm patient zero! A freak! They're gonna put my brain in a jar and sell tickets! What are the symptoms? Chronic discombobulation with occasional bouts of catatonic despair. What's that mean? It means I got a total fascination with absolutely nothing. And when something exciting happens, I'm completely bored! Well, what's the prognosis? Bleak. I got six weeks till my noodle turns to mush. Is there a cure? They could do a bubbleectomy, but at my age, my heart wouldn't take it. Ma, there's something I gotta say. Know who's most at risk, the doctor said. Ma, listen to me. Mothers with broken hearts. It begins when your child causes you so much pain. You have to fight through each day by forcing a smile on your face. That's when the first bubble forms. Ma, listen to me. The will is drawn, the home's in order. Forget the casket. You can dump my body in Delaware. I've got something really important to say, and you've got to listen to me. I'm listening! Gee, spit it out already! I... Oh, God! I knew this day would come! Would you calm down? One by one, my daughters desert me! Tell me you'll never speak to me again! Go on! Go on! Say it! Say it! Mom! You'll never see a dime! I'll leave it all to Talia. It doesn't matter anyway. It's too late for me. Bias is the only innocent victim of all this. She's the one who needs you now. <coughs> Mommy's still here, baby. <coughs> you know what happens to the old and lonely. They die alone in their beds and then their pets devour them. Don't let Bias eat me. Can I talk? Then talk. You can't make me come home. It's Trixie. Trixie? Hello, Judy. You a stripper now? What? That the name I gave you? Nice hearing from you too. What's your angle, toots? Pauline's my sister. Half sister, with half a brain. And she'll need her mother hating sister put poison in her head. And she don't need no psycho empty nester beating her into submission. You turning her against me? I'm setting her free. Don't you know I'm dying? It ain't working, Judy. Try again. Hussy! There's the mother I know. Bet you don't remember me suckling you when you were hungry and wiping your little tookus when you took a poopy and wrapping you up tight in your bungie when you were cold. What of it? Remember when I let you pick out your favorite cartoon band-aid because you got a boo-boo on your knee and I kiss it to make it all better? You ain't gonna break me, Judy. Or when I mix you up strawberry quick after school and cut the crust off your fluffer nutter sandwich and serve it with some baby carrots and a tiny box of sun made raisins. Remember that? I remember. Beatrix? Yes, Mama. Why'd you stop calling? I'm sorry, Mama. Do you love your mother? Yes. I knew it! Now put your sister on the phone! Ah! Come back to me, darling. No! Just for a visit. No, I can't do that! Just for the weekend? Ma, please. A week at most. Ma. Pretty, 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 pretty. Please, 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 please.